Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in tarot land. This is your girl Zendaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Well, you guys, you know, if you follow me, you know that I check in with every member of my soul family. And it's the end of the month, and I'm checking in with my ancestors again. I check in with them at the beginning of the month on video, and I check in with them at the end of the month on video. So, it's time for us to see what the ancestors have to say about what's going on out here in the ethers. And, of course, you know this is the Goddess Channel. Um, I'm all about women empowerment. I'm all about getting a woman back to her goddess status, back to her emperor status, back on her throne where she so belongs. All right. Um, dealing with narcissists. Narcissists are cowards and they only victimize broken people. Ladies, so we are the natural healers and we spend so much time on everybody else that we forget about ourselves. We can naturally heal ourselves also. So 2023, we're taking um, time out for ourselves. It's all about us. We're not worried about anybody else. We're focusing on ourselves. We're healing ourselves. We're elevating we're loving ourselves, we know our self-worth now, and we're not being victimized by these narcissists. We are narc slayers here. We're narcissist slayers. And you can be one too. You can be one too. All you have to do is love yourself and know your self-worth. We could kill this narcissism, narcissism with love. Generating love toward ourselves. Isn't that beautiful? No violence with love. Okay? And that's what we need to do, ladies. All right. Well, let's see what the ancestors have to say what's about what's going on out in the ethers. And of course, this is the Goddess Channel, and I pull from the feminine energy, and I speak from the woman's aspect. Okay. And the first one from the Power of Three that I pulled up here is Durga. Durga is here giving us the energy of boundaries. Um. You got some people that are trying to bind you to them. They want to try to get you in some type of contract or some type of commitment or something that you can sign so they can have access to your preserve, your money that you have stacked up, your inheritance, your trust fund. They want to be able to collect on it. So they're trying to bind you to them in some type of way, get you to sign some type of contract so you could be basically signing your life away. All right. And spirit wants you to keep your boundaries up from these people. You know, this is Durga giving us the energy of boundaries. All right. And the second one from the power of three that I pulled is <laughs> Alu. Alu is her giving us the energy of morality. Alu is a succubus born of a, of a, um, a human male and a succubus female. These are women that work for the Luciferian energy, and these are women that are very, very, very sexual. They steal men's destiny through sex, okay, using sex magic, you know, um, putting them under a spell so they can forget what right path to go on toward their life purpose, their destiny. Yeah, we got a succubus here in the house. Um, this succubus here, collective, they want to take your life. Okay, and they're trying to plan and organize something so they can come your way and they will be coming your way. Okay, so when this person comes your way, keep your boundaries from this person. You know what I'm saying? Don't lure yourself to this person's level because that's what they want you to do. They want to uh, pull you down in the gutter where they are, miserable, low lives. So just ignore this person or don't react you know what I'm saying? Um, the way that they think that you are, you know, um, you can respond, but don't react. You know, watch the way that you react because they're trying to pull, pull you out of your element because they're nasty, stinky women and their uh, job is to bring people down. All right. This is a loop giving us the energy of morality. All right. And the third one from the power three that I pull is hell. Hell is here giving us the energy of rebirth it's a couple here a married couple uh, the male is a cancer 
he's very sexual. He's very immature. Um, this person actually has feel feelings for you, uh, collective. Even though that they're married, their heart is with you. Um, they wanted to come towards you and tell you how they feel about you, but this person is immature. They don't know how to communicate effectively. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to express their emotions. But this particular person, so this is particular person is doing spell work on you, okay? He's doing spell work on you. He wants to take your life. Him and his wife or whomever he's in his commitment with, they want to take your life, okay? They want to take your life. Uh, I don't know what this couple want. Um, this couple, uh, the male is supposed to come and flirt with you, um, I just heard. Um, the, 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 the feminine knows it. You know, she knows that her husband is supposed to come and flirt with you. These people are enemies of yours. Don't trust these people. You know, um, the male is want to come around and love bomb you all behind your back. Uh, all, all the while behind your back. She knows it. You know, it's something that they cooked up together. They got a cahoots to do for him to come and have sex with you and steal your energy and desecrate your womb. Okay, to do sex magic on you, the same as she put on him. So they're in cahoots together to do do this to you. They're trying to end you, sweetheart. You know, they're trying to stop your rebirth. Okay, these are some evil, evil, evil people. This is my girl, Hill, giving us the energy of rebirth. But you're going to have a rebirth, whether they like it or not. Okay, yeah, this is a community of people, you know. Um, the feminine uh, half of this couple, this married couple, she's the leader of this group, okay? She's the leader of these succubuses. They sleep with everybody in this organization. This is what they do. This is a, some type of sex coven or something like that. I don't know. Um, you have inner peace over here, and you're not thinking about these people. You're not paying these people any attention. And these people are just conjuring up things just to irritate you, just to disturb you, you know, attacking you in the spirit. I mean, these people need to get a life. But, yeah, you got a community of people that deals with spell work and magic, and they are attacking you in the spirit. It's not working, though. So they want to come towards you in the physical. But just keep your boundaries from these people in this community. Okay? All right. All right, ancestors. We got a community, a wicked community out here. That wants to steal the destiny of this feminine. So, you know what I'm saying? The woman is not gay. This divine feminine is not gay. So this succubus gets no... Is not going to get any love for her. So she sends her man to do the job. <laughs> to put sex magic on you. But you keep your boundaries because. Spirit is telling you. These are wicked, 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 wicked people. You know. You got a whole family of people over there. Doing magic on you. Putting hexes and spells on the divine feminine. Sad, isn't it? A whole family, a whole community coming up against one person because of her destiny or her life purpose, which has nothing to do with them, okay? Not a damn thing. These people are wicked. These people are devils. These people are demons, okay? They're demonic people. <laughs> they are demonic. You have to keep doing your protection rituals and taking your spiritual bath and cleansing your energy constantly because these people are relentless and they will not stop until they wipe themselves out or wipe you out, you know, because they're demonic and that's what they're sitting here to do. These are miserable people, guys, very miserable sexual people, okay? All right, yeah, these people are very dominating. They're trying to dominate this feminine. They're trying to dominate her life. They're trying to control her. Yeah, these are very dominating people here. All right. <clears throat> what we got out here? What cards do we have out here? All right, let's take a look and see what we got out here. Yeah, they want to dominate this feminine. Mm-hmm, ridiculous. Yeah.
they've been exposed. This this community has been exposed. Um, they've been exposed. Um, this narcissist, <laughs> this narcissist has been attacking this feminine, you know, and um, this this person is going through some legal troubles. You know what I'm saying? For attacking this feminine, um, whatever this person tries to do to attack this feminine is not working. Is not working because she is an oracle. She is an oracle. She is a seer, a tarot reader, you know, and um, she's healed from all the spell work that they did to her. You know what I'm saying? And she's focusing on herself um, and she's practicing self-love. You know, she's healing. You know what I'm saying? She's taking care of her body, her temple and everything. You know what I'm saying? She's eating right. She's taking her herbs. She's healed. And these people and she's exposing these people. She's exposing, exposing these people on her platform. She could be a tarot reader, some type of spiritual advisor, speaker, seer, oracle or something, and she's telling the truth. So whatever these days attack is not working because she's telling the truth. And that's what a lot of celebrities need to do. They need to tell the truth about what's really going on, okay? It didn't work out as planned that this, how this narcissist thought. This narcissist thought that um, they were going to be able to court you. Okay, they thought they were going to be able to court you because you're you're branching off, you're expanding, um, you're becoming a leader, um, you're very innovative, um, you have creative ideas, um, you're going to be traveling, you could be traveling overseas, um, helping people, you're going to be validated by a lot of people, your finances are improving, and now this this narcissist wants to date you, but you're not giving them any of your energy. This is a very... Um, emotionally manipulative person, you know, and, um, this person is heartbroken because he claims that he loves you, which he does not. He's trying to love bomb you. This person is heartbroken going through some type of emotional trauma because you walked away from his ass. You know what I'm saying? You walked away from him and you don't want to be in a partnership with him. Okay. He, you, he's been exposed to what he has been doing to this empress behind the scene with these, uh, hexes and curses, and um, she's not going to be in a partnership with him. You know what I'm saying? This empress is getting a well-deserved rest from this wicked family, a whole family over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's getting a rest from these people because they have been harassing her. They have been harassing her. Um, I don't know. They probably want to invite her over to some cookout or something. Um, and everybody's going to be offering her food and offering her a drink, trying to put something in her drink. That's why you don't even need to be bothered with these people because these are devils and they're relentless and they will stop at nothing to do the job that Lucifer sent them to do. Okay? So keep your boundaries from these people. Rest from these people. Don't be a fool. You know what I'm saying? Um, these people are obsessed with you. Okay? They are obsessed with you. So don't give them any of your energy. You know what I'm saying? Any of your energy because they're trying to take you out of here. Okay? They're trying to take you out of here. And he's trying to love bomb you so you can let your guards down and he could be allowed to take you out of here. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And this is a community. I don't know. They're all in some type of group, a social group. Um, they call each other bros and sis and all that stuff, you know. Um, some type of spiritual community. I don't want to say spiritual. Probably more than religious, you know, because um, if you're spiritual... Um, on the light side, you don't you don't do hexes and, and and curses and spells on people. You know, not nothing of the darkness. You know what I'm saying? And this is these are dark people. These are succubuses. These are entities. These are demons. Demons from hell. That's what these women are in this community. And this is a coven here. You know, and this masculine is married to one of these people. Is married to the head bitch of the coven up there in the red. And she runs the rest of these gorgoyle bitches. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, they thought they was going to do some magic on you, some love spells so that he can court you and stuff so he could be able to dominate you. Um, and they can run your destiny. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. You know, this happens a lot to chosen people, you know? That's why chosen people need to get in their spirituality. This religion is not going to help you. Because this religion it actually curses you. And it gives these people, these communities, free reign to work their spells on you. But if you're into your spirituality and you're vibrating at a higher level, 
these spells and hexes can't touch you, which hence they can't touch this divine feminine. And she's just keeping her boundaries from these people. Okay. This family is, is heartbroken because they didn't know how the skills that this this feminine had. They didn't know that she was a psychic. They didn't know that she was a tarot reader. They didn't know that she had these abilities and gifts and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know that. You know, and uh, this masculine, he's heartbroken because he didn't know that he had this special person right in his hand. Okay? And um, he was dealing with this tarot reader before he even met this or dealt with or got in a couple, got in a relationship with this uh, this um, flying monkey bitch that he's married to of this community, the leader of this witch coven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this family is heartbroken that you're speaking the truth and that you've healed from all the spell work that they put on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they could be going to court and have some legal issues from what they did to you. This is definitely the truth that these people are attacking you. That's sad. That's sad. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. But we got a clear solution. You know what's going on. You've been enlightened, okay, about what these people are and what they're doing to you. You've been enlightened. And when you're enlightened and you speak out, uh, there's nothing they can do. I mean, it's cleanup time now. It's cleanup time. It's cleanup time for the ancestors to come in. <laughs> and the ancestors letting them know that they're coming in. It's cleanup time because they don't want you several times, several times to leave this divine feminine alone. You know what I'm saying? They made her cry. And when they made her cry, the ancestors came in. You know what I'm saying? But this has been powerful personal growth for this divine feminine. It really has. She's learned how to protect herself. She's learned how to fight in battle. You know what I'm saying? So this was personal growth for her. She's learned a lot. You know, unfortunately, these people taught her a lot. They gave her her wings, I want to say. You know, she has been initiated. You know, she went through a lot. But you'll be okay, honey. You'll be okay. Don't worry. You'll be okay. These people are about to ghost you. They have no they, they, they have no choice but to ghost you. Because what they're doing is not working and the ancestors are coming in to kick their ass if they don't, you know. Because they're tired of these people trying to control your life, you know. Um these this community or this person, these people are holding on to you way too tight. They hold it on to you way too tight. Okay? So they're going to have to ghost you. They're going to have to. You've won. And it's just the end. And they just need to give it up. You know? Yeah. This coven. This power of three. These witchy sisters. These witch bitches. They're just going to have to hang it up. Because they can't. They're not powerful enough to beat you. And this is a whole community of witches and warlocks. And they still can't beat this divine feminine. Okay? Because spirit is here. Spirit is here. Spirit had to step in because they were relentless. So they need to give it up because this feminine is on her way. She's living in a life purpose. You will not steal a destiny. See, that's the thing. This person is already in their life purpose, already living out their life destiny. So if they're in their life purpose, you can't do anything. You can't stop it because they're already doing it. Okay. You know, if they're already doing it, you can't sway them away. You know what I'm saying? If you try to do that, um, I mean, it's not, you can't break them. You know what I'm saying? So you're trying to kill this person. I mean, you got a problem with the divine now because this person is on the right road and you want to pick her up off the right, ro right, right road and put her in darkness when she's already on the right road. It's like she made the right choice. Now, see, you had all the options to get at her, you know what I'm saying, it, by the choices that she made. And she made the right choices. So you can't pull her back because she made the right choice. Now you're going up against the divine. Now you're going up against the divine. You're breaking universal laws, and that's why spirit had to step in. And, and the ancestors is kicking their ass um, up there, and they're telling them to bag off, you know what I'm saying? And who's ever guiding you to do this? You know what I'm saying? Where that's going to lead you? It's going to lead you 
to your death. You know what I'm saying? It's going to lead you to your death. So they advise you to leave this feminine alone. Okay? Stop trying to dominate her. Stop trying to control her. Stop trying to get her in some type of contract or bind her to this group in some type of way so they can get her inheritance, her trust fund. These groups do things like that. They do things like that. Um, people be royalty, and they know that they're royalty, but people don't know who they are because they change your um, your nationality so much. You know what I'm saying? You're black, you're Indian, you're, 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 you're African-American, you're colored. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, so you don't remember who you are, and if you don't claim your trust funds or something like that, it goes to the county, I think. I'm not sure how that works goes to the city or the county or what, and they benefit off of it. So that's why they try to keep you from knowing who you are. You know what I'm saying? But this is a feminine who knows who she is. And if she doesn't, her ancestors are going to make her consciously aware of who she is. You know what I'm saying? Spirit has stepped in because this community is just ridiculous. All for money. All for something, an inheritance that her ancestors have left her. They're bombarding this feminine's life. And this is how they make their money. They go around stealing from the chosen people and knocking them off. Insurance policies and stuff like that. And that's what this group is doing. All right. Well, this is what I have for the ancestors are speaking. And this is a wicked group. This is a wicked, some type of wicked religious community that's trying to knock off this chosen person for what they have. Trying to steal her destiny, basically. A bunch of sexual um, whores, you know, that uh, tried to sleep with this divine feminine herself, but she don't go that way. She's heterosexual. So they send their husband, somebody's destiny that they stole. You know what I'm saying? So they send their husband to this divine feminine to flirt with her, try to get her in the bed. You know what I'm saying? So he can desecrate her her sacral chakra, because she has already desecrated him. You get it? All right. So she used this masculine because it's all about this feminine, not this masculine, because they know this masculine is weak. They got him in it. They got him in the bag. You know what I'm saying? So they use this masculine to get to this divine feminine. They use this masculine to get to this divine feminine. And he's so stupid that he don't even know it. Ain't that something? I tell you, boy. I tell you about these men falling for these comics. These comics letting them enter every hole in their body, doing all tricks and trades in the bed, letting them sleep with all their friends, all their family, and they getting their girlfriends and sleeping with all their friends. They having a big party. But you got women that's uh, free sexually like that? Something is wrong with their mind. Something is wrong with their mind because no divine woman is going to, that has her head on right, that's balanced, is going to be spreading her treasures around like that, okay? If the head ain't right, the kitty ain't right. The kitty is poison. She's poisoning you. She's a succubus, and she's sucking your fucking soul, all right? All right. This is what the ancestors have, y'all. If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please send it to them, guys. Ladies, please stay protected, because we got bitches and... Uh, dudes, both narcissists after us, Divine Feminine. So please protect yourself at all times. Keep your space clear, okay? Eat right, drink right, meditate, and keep your vibrations high. And these people can't fuck with you because you you got a heavy soul family behind you and they cold kicking ass, all right? All right. I love y'all ladies. And as I always end it, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. But you must above all love yourself in order to save yourself. Okay, ladies, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.